Greetings, everyone. I am Lotus Prince, and for this Let's Play, we are going to tackle Dark Souls. This game is a masterpiece. It has some of the best level and world design I have ever experienced in a game. This is not like Demon's Souls, where the individual levels were really cool, but you couldn't go from one to another directly. You had to warp to the hub world and then go to a different level. So if you wanted to go from level 2 to level 3, you'd have to go to the Nexus and then go to level 3. In Dark Souls, though, there are some places that you have to warp to get to, but for the most part, if you can see it, you can get to it by walking. And the way everything is interconnected is just wonderful. Now, Demon's Souls basically defined a genre in its own right, but it was a PS3 exclusive. Dark Souls was available on just about every platform at the time, so a lot more people got to experience it. And so Dark Souls is the more well-known game, even though Demon's Souls came first. However, Dark Souls, I do feel, even though I love Demon's Souls, is a better game. And of course, it's super hard. Get ready to see that you died screen. This game is very hard. I would say it's, uh the Dark Souls of video games. That's how hard I'm talking about. But it is super cool. The The story, the lore, is super interesting if you are interested in taking a look at it by picking up items and reading descriptions of things that happened before the events of the game went down. And we're going to see just what everything is, does, and signifies as we play through all of this game, including its DLC. Get ready, because this is going to be Quite a journey indeed. Let's go crazy. Ooh, haven't seen that loading screen in quite some time. Back to auto-saving. Yep, Bandai Namco. And from software. Havoc Engine, when you get to enjoy those ragdoll physics. And press start. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna go ahead with a brand new game. been a while. Well then, enter character name. Can I do spaces? Am I allowed to do spaces? I am. good to me. Okay. Uh, sex will be male. I think it's already just set, right? Yeah. Ability is not affected, so... Interesting that it was, like, it had, you have to have some kind of picture up, but it was blank for sex until I confirmed it. Class. I gotta remember this. Don't you... That's what it was. Has master key. At this point with patching, I think you, everybody can ultimately get everything. But when this game first came out, 
starting as the thief was the one and only way to get the master key, and there are some doors that can only be unlocked with the master key. I don't think they're necessary, I think you could work your way around them, but the master key makes your life a little easier. Heavy battle axe. Okay, what was that? Oh, I'm pilgrimage. By the way, one thing I should point out is that magic has been severely nerfed from Demon Souls. And by nerfed, I mean really made fair. Demon Souls magic was broken as hell, so I'm not going to be playing around with sorceries as much as I used to. I'm going to go with Thief because that master key. What is my gift? Oh, I could just choose to start with the master key. Interesting. So maybe I'll go with somebody else then. Because if... Oh, oh, but his gimmick is he has high critical hits. Well, let me see what they start with so I can choose something else. High strength and dexterity. High HP. Scimitar. High critical, high strength. I mean, all this is really just affecting your base stats. Yeah, Sorcerer is pretty good. Pyromancer, that's a whole new thing. Wields a mace. Huh. I don't know, I actually do kind of like the Thief's high critical, but at the same time, high HP and solid armor. But I'll, I'll go with the Thief. Has Master Key. So for the gift... Divine Holy Water. Black Fire Bomb, those are consumables. More deadly than STD Bomb? Damn! Not standard, of course. Twin Humanities. Starting with Humanity is pretty nice, but I will eventually find a way to get more of that when I so choose. Binoculars is more of just... It's kind of cool to look through binoculars. It's like the uh, the brass telescope, I believe, in the first game. Pendant. I actually forgot this one. Did the pendant have some ability? It says no effect, but come on. But I, I think it might really have nothing to do with anything. Master key opens. Master key specific lock. The tiny beings ring, ring very slowly. Recovers HP. Old witches ring that does have a particular use. Like I said, it is possible for me to get anything in the game, and it is possible for me to get the old witch's ring, but that's, if memory serves, really late game, and it's like a one chance enemy to kill. So I'll just go ahead and start with it. it I don't believe it serves purpose other than flavor, but I like me some flavor, and the other stuff is mediocre and I could find it anyway. Physique. Oh, just just my looks. <laughs> Proportionately small hit. I'm going between slim and very slim. Now let's do very. Face. Commoner. Delta Farmer in the Five Finger Delta, okay. Astora. Uh, what is that? Dragon Scholar. Cleric. Uh, Katarina. Karim. I love how like none of these places are mentioned in the game, by the way, as far as I know, except for maybe there's a nod to Astora. Xana. Great Swamp. Far East. Huh. I'm gonna go with the dubious Karim. Hair. The funny thing is I'll probably be wearing a helmet for a lot of the games, so I don't even know how much this matters, but okay. Can I? Oh, I can. What is that, the almost mullet look? Wild. Parted center, semi long. Oh, okay. Curly, bobbed. I might go with short. 
color is the hair color. Hmm. I might just stick with the black look. Although the dark red is kind of interesting. Let's go with dark red. <laughs> see? You can see my features perfectly. Wait, customize? How far can I- Oh, yeah, so we do have this whole thing. Same. Different. It's kind of interesting, actually. Maturity. So what happens- I see. It's interesting how subtle the changes are. Oh, I see. Interesting. Features. Oh, interesting. Okay. That's just the same. Further customize? What? Oh my god. I don't, I really, actually wait, yeah, you, you do have this, that's kind of funny, so I could really mess around, so I could adjust the red, the green, and the blue levels, that's rather interesting. Huh. So there's a whole other level to all this. It's just, it's just the, the visual. So, we start at level 5. I have 9 vitality, which is life. 11 attunement. I'll have to remind myself of what that is. Endurance is my endurance. How long I can run and how much I can block before my guard is broken. Strength is how hard I hit. Dexterity is how hard I hit, I believe, with bows and arrows and crossbows. Resistance, I think, is the status effect. Intelligence is magic proficiency, and faith, I believe, is miracle proficiency. Humanity, <laughs> more on that later. Yeah, I'll start the game with this character. Let's do it. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire. And with fire came disparity. Heat and cold. Life and death. And of course, light and dark. Then from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. My god. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the lord of sunlight and his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenge the dragons. Gwyn's mighty lords peeled apart their stone skins. Witches weaved great firestorms. 
so unleashed a miasma of death and disease. Freaking Nito, look at that. See from the scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. Soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. And once again, we have load screens which are uh, informative to a degree. In Demon Souls, they just showed you pictures of characters. In this, they show you various items as would be described in the inventory screen. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, The undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. Just like Demon's Souls, this game starts off quite depressing, doesn't it? This. Northern Undead Asylum. In Demon's Souls, you were a knight who wanted to try his luck and test the fog and see if you could take out the bad guys. In this game, you're an undead captured and put into a cell. Also, wow, you can really whip that camera around, my goodness. So, pressing start gives me this stuff. So, browse and use items, equipment, status, configure options or quit. There's no world tendency, thank god. There's my status. We've seen everything on the left, but then it goes into my status of weapons, physical defense, uh, magic defense, resistance, etc. Items, straight sword hilt, piece of crap, but what do you expect? Thief mask, can I... Do I not get a description for this thing? Okay, a mask of sinners. They hide their faces, stifle their voices, and hide in the shadows. It does not provide much in the way of defense. Oh, I don't want that. Extremely quiet, a good thing for those who hide in the shadows. Leather is thick, offering a decent level of protection. Same. Same. Old Witch's Ring. Engraved minutely with indecipherable script, but seemingly useless. An old ring from an old witch. Yeah, there's no real point in me having this equipped for a long time. I wanted it because it'll be just a pain to get it later. 
The hilt of this lost sword was found discarded in the Undead Asylum, only slightly better than one's bare hands, and not recommended for extensive use. Be certain to find a replacement quickly. Oh, items? Nah. Black Separation Crystal. It sends phantoms back to their homes, or sends you back to yours. Beware of fickle use of this item if you tend to nurture relations. Oops. I, I gotta get used to controls of this game. And the Dark Sign. Those branded with it are reborn after death, but will one day lose their mind and go hollow. Death triggers the Dark Sign, which returns its bearer to the last bonfire rested at, but at the cost of humanity and souls. So this is basically the plot item that says when I die, I respawn at my last checkpoint. In Demon Souls, I would respawn at the beginning of the world. Here, it's whatever the last bonfire I checked. Master Key. Tool of the trade for thieves. But in the Cursed Land of the Undead, most doors are better left unopened. Yeah, you're not kidding. Okay. Pillage the corpse. Somebody threw this in here. Dungeon cell key. A mysterious knight, without saying a word, shoved the corpse down into the cell, and on his person was this key. Who was this knight? And what was his purpose? There may be no answers, but one must still forge ahead. Yeah, I can't do anything with square. X is my check around. Triangle. Yeah, I could change stance and dual wield. It requires twice the strength, I believe. Or no, half the strength to dual wield. But if you don't have the strength requirement of we're wielding a heavy weapon, you'll only do mediocre damage. And also you can't block this way, at least not effectively. L1 blocks. Well, it would if I had a shield. Circle, back steps, and I could also use it to dash. But you can see I'm losing my stamina that way. And if I, yeah, if I press circle that way, I roll. Let, let me see something with the options here. Yeah, camera speed. Let's take that down a notch. Let's see if that makes a difference. Okay, that's better. I'm not whipping around. Let's open the door, huh? Use the key. We have these again. Camera controls, I already knew that. Oh, I want to attack. I mean, this guy won't hurt me under normal circumstances. And yeah, pressing the right stick inward targets enemies. I still suck in souls like I'm breathing them in, like in Demon Souls. Can you hear that? Footsteps, I guess? R2 is strong attack, that's right. Hi! Hey, it's not the Vanguard from Demon Souls. Oh yeah, can I... No, maybe not. Unless R2 backstabs, I'll have to look into that. Yeah, we already knew this. Hold circle to dash. Good luck. <laughs> Rating zero. <laughs> That's really clever. That's really entertaining. Like, nobody thought that was a good idea with good luck. That's really funny. Yeah, just wax the, uh, the wall there. Normally it's a bad idea to just walk into a room like this, but I'm still playing the tutorial. Yeah, R3 targets and releases. Oh, it was me. So the water's already here. That's my strong attack, by the way. Climbing ladders looks a little quicker than it was in Demon Souls.
Rest the bonfire, recover HP. Just checking the uh, environment first, though. Still hearing those footsteps, huh? Need luring it out. Rating three. Now let's rest at the bonfire. Bonfire lit. Once a bonfire is lit, it's lit. That's my checkpoint. And if I had been hurt, that would have restored my HP and also brought all enemies back to life. In Demon Souls, leaving the level and going to the Nexus resets everything. Here, using a bonfire resets everything. So heal and get all your magic back, but enemies will also come back. And there's nothing I can select here except for leave, so let's leave. Now there's that big door, but uh, was this anything? Okay, it's other side of the door. You hear that? Ooh, serious door. Okay. Need soldier. Nope. Uh, there's a door over there. Huh. Nope. I, I deserve that. Also, I didn't die. That didn't hurt nearly as much as Vanguard did. See you in hell. Yeah, this game is a lot more forgiving than Demon Souls was, at least as far as the tutorial was concerned. I guess they didn't want to be too repetitive. It was more of an homage than anything else. Oh my god. And they just give you another bonfire, bonfire immediately. Believe me, that's not how this game works normally. This is still the tutorial. Not that I killed any enemies. Let's just go ahead and restore my health and then get right back up. I'll have to read the clues in the Asylum Demon's room later. Despair ahead. Ugh. Get your shield! Ooh, was that... I can, I can run on the water, but... Uh, look at this sword, it's like... Oh, what the hell? Okay. Target shield. Ow, my brain. Alright. Now I can equip the shield with this arrow sticking right through me. Target shield. Hey. Four protrusions used to parry attacks. Small shields are always less stable, but landing critical hits after parry is easier. Specialized for parrying. So now I can shield myself, and wham! I can parry that way. So that's a bit of a relief. Yeah, in case I didn't know. This was a lot of people's first Souls game, because Demon Souls was exclusive to PS3, and Dark Souls made it to PC uh, pretty quickly. Yeah, L1 is guard. L2 is parry, but I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Oh, he runs away to better prepare himself. Tricky, tricky. Oh, alright. Oh, a bandit's knife. So, a real weapon? Yeah, it's just better in every way. Wide angle, or wide single edged short sword is the favorite of lowly thieves and bandits. Ooh, I'm lowly. Primarily a slicing weapon, but highly effective when used for critical hits, such as after parrying or from behind. Pretty chipped and everything, but you know what? It's a real weapon. What an asshole. Yeah, no. God, three hits to kill a basic enemy. I am so lame right now. Change weapons, toggle items. 
yeah, useful for my, my quick select stuff, so that's good. Alright, so every time I see these cracks in these walls, I think they're like breakable walls. But wait, the first fog gate, I mean, traverse the white light. I'm not going that way. That's actually really creepy. The asylum dealer was gone. Like, where could he have possibly gone to? Back step and left stick is roll. Well, we already knew that. Oh, hi, demon souls. Oh, that actually did shift. You know what? I didn't do it. Yeah! Boom! Parry and repost, baby. Oh, I didn't mention it before, but that little flame in the upper right of the screen that disappeared now, that's the, um, the autosave function. Here! Oh, yeah, because as the boulder rolls down, then I can read this and jump off. That's kind of amusing. Well, it busted the wall open. Was this the guy in the beginning who dropped us the corpse with the key? Oh, you. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. This is... everything. <laughs> oh, and this. Undead Asylum, Floor 2, East Key. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now. And thank you. Yeah, in Demon Souls, you know, the lost souls eventually lost their sanity. Here, when you're undead, you'll eventually go hollow and just be just a zombie attacking people. I guess like the people I've been killing so far. Squares use item. Yeah, I can press square to Estus Flask. I can equip other items, but this is basically going to be my Estus Flask button. Rested Bonfire also replenish the Estus Flasks. You know... What? Did he... Oh, he died. Huh. My goodness. Oh, good. I have come full circle. I guess I might have to deal with that demon again, but what's up the stairs? Aha! That's what the key was for. 
I did it! Yeah, two-handed wield. I've been over that. R1 is kick. I forgot about that. So basic R1 is swipe, kick, which can boot enemies back for a second, and then... What was it? Yeah. There it is. Resting a bonfire revives enemies. We knew that. Miracles ahead. Huh. Man, I am out of practice. While falling, plunging attack. That is immensely useful. More on that shortly. Behind the enemy is critical hit. You have like a backstab. Parry and repost, we've been over that. I'll see if I can do the backstab, I would love to. Boom! Feels good, man. Ring ahead. Well, that's locked, so I'm out of luck. Is that this? Look, doesn't this look like something? Maybe not. All right. So now we get the party. Jump into that. Can you imagine? Whoa, whoa! Are you... Well, I blew my, uh... You know what? I'm actually gonna die. I'm gonna die. Because I want to get that attack right. I'm gonna let this slide. I really hope that that ledge stays there, because I would love to get the, uh, the plunging attack. If I can't, there'll be an opportunity later. Book of the Guilty online play item. Nah. So, basically irrelevant to me. I really hope- I really hope that platform somehow regenerates, but I don't think it's going to. But, we'll see. Man, I'm good at video games. Boom. After 10 minutes, I got him for turning his back on me. You can't drop a boulder that's already been dropped. See ya. For the victory lap, let's get that properly talented skeleton. That didn't work. Alright, forget the parrying. Now let's just do that instead. Oh, a longsword, hey! Generally better, but less critical. Widely used standard straight sword, only matched in ubiquity by the short sword. Makes sense. Accessible with consistent regular damage and high slash damage. Hmm. You know what? Oh, I can't even wield it with one hand, so forget it. Alright, let's try this again without the embarrassment. If I fall, I fall. No, we're good. Alright, watch this. Yeah! Now that's cool. Nowhere nearly 
as difficult as the Vanguard. You recovered! The Vanguard was legitimately difficult, partly because of the environment, but this guy is a freaking joke. Well, he does have a butt stomp. Instead of a sword, he has that massive club. Oof, that backswing. Clearly I am out of practice. I win. You defeated. So I get the big pilgrim's key and humanity. I still hear footsteps. I actually know why I still hear footsteps, but uh We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. In any case, humanity. One humanity and greatly restore HP. This black sprite is called humanity, but little is known about its true nature. If the soul is the source of all life, then what distinguishes the humanity we hold within ourselves? And the build, whoops, and the build program's key. Oh yeah. The Undead Asylum this is the second floor east key, which I already used. The Undead Asylum is a giant undead prison, segmented by countless iron bars. Even if an undead were to escape from a cell, passage to the outside world would not be gained easily. Speaking of which, Big Pilgrim's Key. Key to the inner door of the Undead Asylum, Main Hall. Big key belonging to a chosen undead pilgrim. But this chosen undead knows not what this pilgrimage has in store. Interesting. Well, it is just about time to wrap up the installment, but fortunately, I'm at a pretty much a checkpoint. First of all, let's just check these little clues here. I think I saw this first one. Need soldier. Be wary of fall. And imminent fall. Okay. Also, yeah! Yeah! I don't think there are any doors on this side. Yeah, no, but we do have that. But I still hear the freaking footsteps. Whatever. We're out. Big Pilgrim's Key. I'm out of the asylum. Look at that. Outside. Such a wonderful sight. That would be death. Yeah, we're bringing that back. Remember from level four of Demon Souls? That's just here. Can I just not read that sign? Oh well, I'm not gonna push it. Oh, is this what it is? The little way around here. Oh. Soul of the Lost Undead. Well, I think we might remember what souls do. Are they in my regular item list, I guess? Yeah. So I can just gain souls with this. Souls are the source of all life, and whether undead or even hollow, one continues to seek them. So this is a soul of a lost undead who was long ago gone hollow. Okay. So there's my secret item of this uh, section of the game. A bunch of gravestones here. What did this place used to be? I mean, like, 
what I mean is clearly this is a graveyard, but this place looks like it was wrecked, right? Even the path leading up to it. This doesn't seem like a normal place to have a graveyard. And look at where we are. Middle of freaking nowhere. Those mountains are just endless. Praise the sun. Good luck. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead legend. the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords Lordra Level up and kindle at bonfires, and we are at the Firelink Shrine. With humanity, I can reverse my hollow state and be in human form. Kindle. That's right. You'll notice this bonfire is a little bigger than the other bonfire, as in the fire is greater, of greater size. I can kindle bonfires and allow myself more Estus flasks. As you can see, I have ten instead of five. Good luck. And... Weakness. Stabbing in the back. Yep. Was there anything else to do with the bonfire? I can level up, of course. So what do I level up? That's always the trick, isn't it? I'm gonna want... How many How many times can I level up, as a matter of fact? Where is it? Oh, there's where it lists my XP. So I can level up three times. So let's go with... I'll start with the basics. Strength, Endurance, and Vitality. There we are. And we have this mysterious man in front of us, but... For now, it is time to stop the installment. Well, we certainly made a lot of progress today, didn't we? We got out of the Undead Asylum and beat the not-Vanguard boss, the Asylum Demon. The thing looked very similar to the Vanguard, but was quite terrifying in its own way. It doesn't hit nearly as hard as the Vanguard did, but you know what? This is a different game. So this was supposed to be a proper boss, instead of a, did you know this game is hard? kind of boss. We were introduced to new game mechanics that Demon Souls did not have, and now that we've escaped the Undead Asylum, let me tell you, the real game has only just begun. Until next time, everyone.